everyone and welcome to the Arthur Murray Lifestyle Series. I'm Victoria Regan, the Global Ambassador for Arthur Murray International. You just saw Barbara and Tim Haller in their element and they happen to be the honorees of this episode and truly an example of what every dancer and entrepreneur could dream of. Please welcome Barbara and Tim Haller. Vicki, Tim and I both want to thank you so, so very much for asking us to share a little bit of our 41 year story of being in very, for me, various types of dance. I started at the age of five as a classical ballet dancer. I was awarded a scholarship uh, at the age of 13, joined a company that later went on to perform with Rudolf Nureyev and Eva Ivdakamova as principals all across Europe. And that led me to meeting Tim through these funny looking silver shoes because I didn't know what Latin American sandals were. I became exposed to ballroom and never looked back. Well, uh, I wanna thank you too, Vicki, for inviting us to share our 40 years of experience here, 41 actually now. And uh, I too uh, hope I don't disappoint people when I say I did not start in point shoes like Barbara did. Uh, when I was a child, I just loved sports. I played football, wrestling, uh, track in the spring, and in the summer, I was a swimmer. In fact, when I was 12 years old, I remember uh, that I was the St. Bernard Olympic champion. You which thought he was Mark Spitz. Yeah, which inspired <laughs> me, because that was the same year Mark Spitz won his eight gold medals. So I thought, man, I can be the next Mark Spitz, but that was uh, not to be. Uh, but by the time I was a senior in high school, uh, that was when the disco era really uh, came on strong. So I went in as a student uh, to take lessons to learn how to dance. And uh, to my pleasure, uh, was eventually asked to be a part-time instructor there. And through that experience, Barbara and I began judging nightclub contests together. And that's when we began dating. And wouldn't you know, three years later, we got married and open our first studio in Cincinnati. And that was in 1981. We believe Tim at 21, now you all know how old is, um, <laughs> was the youngest franchisee ever. I'm a little north of him, but not much. No. So we did open, we did open in 1981 and then later acquired the entire area, the Cincinnati Dayton area and have enjoyed it so much just cannot say enough good things about it tim i know that you enrolled in university and my question to you is how did you manage to run a studio maintain a university schedule and become dance champions you know vicky uh that's a great question uh barbara and i uh probably took a different path than most other competitors we focused on our business at first and competed later in fact i went to the university of Cincinnati full-time in the engineering college for uh, five years while concurrently working full-time at the studio, which sounds very difficult and it was, but I was at the, at the um, university in the morning hours and at the studio in the afternoon and the evening. So it did work out. And once I graduated from college and started into the corporate world, uh, Barbara and I would practice uh, on a daily basis uh, we decided to start competing, and in fact, we competed for 10 years, followed by another five or six years of performance, but it was a rigorous experience and took a lot of dedication to make it happen. But I think uh, starting our business first and then pursuing the competition uh, second was our key to success. Barbara and Tim, I am curious as to how and why you chose the exhibition style and please share some of your favorite memories and successes from those fabulous years. Tim and I went one year to Blackpool and saw, we were fortunate to be there on the Thursday night and saw the exhibition style. And I looked at Tim and I said, we could do this with my ballet and his athleticism. There's no reason we can't. So that was that was that. That was great. Uh, started to our career. She really, though, drove us to success, forcing us to practice or perform or compete 
364 days a year. She was a slave driver. Uh, the only day I got off was Christmas each year of those 10 years that we competed. It was a, it was a great run. And I, I think, you know, to answer the second part of your question, um, you know, some of my favorite memories include uh, probably what was our signature exhibition, uh, which was Spider Woman. Uh, I think this was so unique and different. It really brought out the, the uh, inner characters Barbara could uh, demonstrate and act, uh, which were, you know, quite unique uh, at the time. But I also remember our first uh, national championship, which back in 1992, Barbara said, oh my God, I'm, I'm so happy. Uh, you we can quit now if you want to retire. But of course <laughs> we I didn't. did, we didn't retire. We kept going on. And, and I think uh, to complement the first win uh, was the final win, uh, which was in 1999. And that was mostly memorable because we became only the second couple uh, to win the United States championships for four times in a row. Uh, beyond those competition and uh, experiences, what I like is our, um, you know, live, live performances uh, with the Cincinnati Pops and other theaters, the theatricals. We're both so married to the theater and we've had the opportunity to dance with the Cincinnati Symphony, the Cincinnati Pops, the Naples Philharmonic, um, Carmen De Leon Orchestra, Middletown Symphony. I even got to conduct the symphony one time because we won the most money for the charity that we were uh, raising funds for. So terrific experiences. Barbara, you mentioned raising money, and I understand you and your staff are very successful in organizing events within the community. How does that tie in to running a successful studio? Vicki, we love our Dayton community and we love giving back to it. So we do lots of charitable events, Dancing with the Stars for a Special Wish, Dancing with the Stars for the Police Foundation. Uh, our staff are so willing to give of their time in order to take somebody who's had no lessons and put them out there and make them look great. And really the key to the success of a great studio is your staff. We have great dancers. Craig is our supervisor, Orion dance director, Megan, relatively new, but she's in the top three in, in a most recent contest. And of course, Amanda, our counselor and our bridal director. So those combined make us a pretty strong school. By the way, we just won Top Studio. I think it's not official yet, but Top Studio in 1B. Group 1B is not an easy group to compete in. Barbara, don't forget, we won four Top Studio awards this year. And that's just so far. The year's only half over. I know. We're going to have a whole bunch of them lined up. <laughs> Tim, this one's for you. Did you find a correlation between your engineering career and your career as a dancer? Because they seem like they are at total opposite ends of the spectrum. Well, you know, Vicki, uh, it, it may sound strange, but I have to give credit to Arthur Murray's for teaching me how to do public speaking, obviously teaching group lessons and running parties every week. Uh, gave me the courage and the fortitude to be able to be successful in my corporate role uh, through that training, as well as the dance training. You know, the dancing itself uh, taught me uh, structure, arrangement, problem solving, and that all applied to my work in the corporate world. So they were actually quite complimentary. Well, it sounds like you both are very grateful for everything you've achieved. But Tim, I believe you are grateful for the mere fact that you're sitting here and sharing your life story. That's right, Vicki. Um, unfortunately, uh, almost two years ago, I was told of my cancer. In fact, um, the diagnosis was for an inoperable brain tumor and that I had only a few months to live. Uh, it was at that point that my Arthur Murray family came to my rescue I have to say I was quite humbled uh, by the number of people that reached out to me uh, with their prayers and support 
for which I'm extremely grateful. Uh, without the Arthur Murray family behind me, I wouldn't have gotten through that chapter. But here I am alive and happy and prayerful and grateful. Vicki, in addition to being more than grateful for Tim's recovery, which really was nothing short of miraculous, I'm also grateful for the, the miracles I see that we help other people achieve in their lives. Not just health, but lifestyle change. It's like a lifestyle facelift. Since we are giving thanks, I'd like to thank you both for so much joy that you've brought to others through your performances and for demonstrating such kindness and strength in all you do. Here's to many more years of friendship and for giving others the gift of dance. Thank you, Barbara and Tim. Thank you, Vicki, and thank you to all our Arthur Murray family. We love you all. The leadership is terrific, and it's been a pleasure to do this interview. Thank you to Arthur Murray International, the leadership team there. And once again, Vicki, thanks to you. We appreciate it. And thank you to all of you supporting and watching the Lifestyle Series. I look forward to connecting with you all very soon.